This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. Hey, welcome back. Jonathan Clark. We're in the studio with Kat Cunning. Uh, you can see her right now starring in HBO's The Deuce. Also in the Netflix series Trinkets. She's playing December 14th at the Bowery Ballroom. There is a new EP coming in uh, uh, the spring uh, in a few months from now. For the Love, I, that is the name of the EP, right? Well, that's a song. Is it also going to be the name of the EP? You know, or I you don't know that yet. Away yet. All right, it's a secret. It's so, a welcome. Secret. How are you? Thank you. I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, wait, did you go to school here in Manhattan or New York State? New York State. I went to SUNY Purchase. Upstate. Uh, so, where are you from originally? Where were you born? I was born in Portland, Oregon. Ah, well, how did you get here then? You know, having dreams, watching movies about dancers and people in New York being broke but loving what they did. Wow. You know, Fantastic. stuff like White Nights. Um, what did you start pursuing first? Was it acting or music, or did it all sort of happen together simultaneously? Actually, I was a very hardcore dancer. Really? For many, many years, even through college. Wow. So what kind of dance? Ballet, mostly. And then once I got to college, they were like, you'll never be a ballerina. You should learn something else. I went out with a ballerina once, and her feet, her toes were always messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We take a lot of pride in, in bleeding at the toes. Right. I mean, just constantly breaking toes, injuring toes. Or, I mean, it's Disgusting it, calluses, toenails falling off. But it's a, it's a brutal, like, you know, regimen, basically, if you're going to be a ballerina full-time, I would think, right? Yeah, it's so true. It's a very intense lifestyle, and I totally loved it. I loved how hardcore it was. But at the end of the day, I was like, I have a voice and I want to use my words as well. Yeah. Um, with The Deuce, you star as James Franco's love interest, Christina Fuego. Franco plays two characters in this series on HBO. It, does that get confusing, like, on the set with the production people? I mean, like, what happened? On my very first day, we had a scene where they both were in the scene. And it was so intense. Like, I'm acting with somebody that isn't James Franco. Or I don't know if I can give all this away, but basically movie magic is at work. Yes. And it is so impressive because they obviously, all these people are learning both the lines, working off of the things they improv, and yeah. It's so do they tell you to look a certain direction even though there's nobody in that direction? Yeah. and there Or there will be someone there. There's always somebody yeah. in there. Right. That, like looks sort of like him and you're always acting with a human because yeah. it would be too crazy to just act at the wall. But um, it's pretty nuts. And it's it was a really cool learning experience for my first TV thing. How is Mr. Franco to work with? He is a dream. Like from day one, he was really receptive about like me improving with him. And we just found a lot of fun stuff in the show together. What I immediately loved about that show is it was all about Times Square in the 70s when Times Square was. Times Square. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that right in itself just hooked me in immediately. Yeah. Because Times Square now, it might as well be Orlando. You know, it's a theme park, yeah, basically. Yeah, it's like you Disneyland. Know? It's fucking Disneyland. But yeah, it's, um, I know a lot of people from this city who have like lived as performers since they were like, you know, li they lived through that time. And it's been a huge honor to hear from them that they feel like it represents the era almost to the, the extent that they don't even want to watch oh, it. Oh, wow. That's great. So yeah. that's uh, legitimate then for some legitimate people. Um, I want to ask you, have you ever heard the song by the Smiths, Shoplifters of the World Unite? <laughs> no, but I have a feeling I know where you're going with this. Yes. Well, that is a great song, Morrissey, Johnny Marr, of course, uh, which leads me to the show Trinkets. Yes. Tell me about Trinkets on Netflix. Trinkets is so cool. It is about a bunch of teenagers who shoplift, and that's the only thing that brings them together. Um, so it's like a really awesome young adult rom-com about you know people coming together despite their differences. I play the slightly older, cool rock and roll star, and I get to be the love interest. Not a stretch. Not a stretch. Not a stretch for me, no. Um, but it was really cool to work with Brianna Hildebrand, who's in the lead, and my own music's in the show, which is amazing. Nice. And most importantly and most excitingly for me, it's written by Kristen Smith, otherwise known as Kiwi, who wrote 10 Things I Hate About You, wow. which is one of the best movies that is a rom-com for young adult, and especially in its celebration of music. So uh, I was really excited to be in that project. So with the deuce, with trinkets, how in the hell do you have time for music? You know, there's more time than you would think, and I'm never satisfied. That's the real answer. Right. Like, let's do it all. Let's do both well, of it every day. You have shooting schedules. You have to, you know, that's a whole schedule. Then you just fit it in whenever you can, probably, right? Yeah, I and mean, also, thankfully, you have, like, a team who's down to, like, mush it all in for you and yeah. believe in both things. Um, for the Love is the new song. This one's pretty personal for you, yes? Yeah, it is. Tell us about For the Love. 
So For the Love is a little bit of my own coming out story. It's a little bit of um, the story of my mom coming out to me when I was younger before I ever had any idea that I would be queer. And it's also about her story with cancer. And then surprisingly, her partner's story with cancer. Um, And it's about the fact that on the day that her partner Joan passed away, it was also my first pride parade in New York City and the day that gay marriage became legal. Wow. And and beyond that like amazing synchronistic situation that happened in my own life, I hope that it for everyone is about their own relatively personal story about becoming who they are and what they do for the love. Yeah. Cuz it's a I'm I'm proud of the song being a song that you can like dance to and sing for the love and maybe not until the eighth time you hear the song know how sad or powerful or intense it is for me. I I was proud of writing something that like I played it for my friends. They're like, this is cool. And then by the third time, they were crying. <laughs> oh, man. That's so great. And uh, Katy Perry is referenced uh, in this song, right? Yeah. Well, I had to shout out, you know, a good subversive pop reference that, like, championed queer people. I kissed a girl. I liked it. and you With know. Katie on the radio. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to send it to Katie. You know, I'm trying. You know? I'm like, Katie, call me. Yeah. What are we doing? Are we hanging out? Are we going let's, on tour? Let's go on tour together. That's there you go. That's what I'm saying. The people need it. The people want it. Hey, tell me about the video for that song. It's you sort of walking on a beach. Now, where is that beach? What beach is that? Where was that? You know what? I don't even actually know where we were. Because Come the on. Are, East Coast, <laughs> West Coast. You had to East know. East Coast, East Coast, East Coast. But okay. I have no idea. I just got in the car with my friend and collaborator, Maddie Talius, whose friend and collaborator, Paul Tucker, was working on it with us. That was literally the extent of the team, plus Mickey Birschbaugh, who played the water drums. And... Um, I got in the car and I was like, let's do a video. And on the way to the video, I was like, let's stop at the bodega for some flowers. And then while we were there, I was like, maybe I'll wear this this outfit. Who knows? And like, yeah, they drove us to a beach that he knew about that it was so <laughs> it's a really nice beach, though, wh- wherever that is. Yeah, really cool, very abandoned. Well, we can say it's the Atlantic Ocean. We know that. Yeah, it's cl- it's like hours away from the city, just a couple hours away from the city. Um, you have a, this really, and I've never seen someone do this before, but you have this hidden talent. It's uh, it's whistling, but it's not your typical. <laughs> I told you about this. No. How do you know? I did this? my research, babe. <laughs> okay. Okay, You're so. Pro. Uh, you, I, I was blown away when I see this. I'm just wondering if you would do this for the cameras right now. Oh, my God, now. I would love to do this. And I just want to say I thought you were going to call me out for the fact that I can do the Star Trek sign with my toes. So I'm glad we didn't Oh, go wow. Okay. Um, but yes. But like, so this, like, first, before you do. <laughs> Sorry, you got to zoom in on that. <laughs> that is so crazy. Like I don't know you what could, it is. I don't know if it's that I have an amazingly muscular tongue. Right. Click. Or if it's that <laughs> I have like a gap in between my two front teeth, but whatever it is, it's like a great skill to have in the So of you crowd. can smile and whistle at the same time. Do it again one more time so Sarah can uh, get this on camera. Are you ready for the close-up? Cam- yeah, get the close-up okay. here. Can you just like like talk like who's whistling? It just feeds me. Wait, like, who's, who's whistling? whistling? What? <laughs> <laughs> You have you contacted the Guinness Book of World Records? Or I mean, there's got to be something that I just you're have doing too many there. Goals, man, I have so many goals in my life. Right. Like the Guinness World Book of Re- like somebody else call them. You That's know? amazing. Like between my toes and my yeah. ability to I whistle think through the a smile, Star Trek with to your promote. toes has to be in the next video, perhaps. Yeah, we'll start it that way. It'll be a close. Do up. both. You know, both at the toes same, at the same time. Bo- and yeah, hands. both feet. Yeah, yeah. I got to write a space song. Cat Cunning is her name. Uh, the new EP comes out in the spring. Uh, we'll hold it up one more time for the cameras here. Look at it. It's so yeah. beautiful. Joan of Arc, Mona Lisa. What are we going with here? Jesus. 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 Just whatever icon you need in your life. And uh, so that EP is coming out this spring, December 14th, Bowery Ballroom. Everybody uh, check out Cat in the Deuce and Trinkets on Netflix. Cat, a real pleasure to have you in the studio Thank with you so us. much for having me. This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043.